All right, thank you, Corey. Well, it's February 1st, and we're wearing red today in observance of Heart Month. So be sure to tune in for the next four Thursday, Thursday mornings where we'll be checking in with heart experts from Mercy's Plum Center in Cedar Rapids as part of our special Heart to Heart series of interviews. And joining us today is cardiologist Dr. Shiny Matthew Cuddy here to talk about women's heart disease. Well, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. So I'm kind of surprised that heart disease is the number one killer of women, number one reason why women are, or I should say, the death of women. <laughs> Killer yes. women, death of women, I know I shouldn't say that. <laughs> well, can you explain that? Sure, so okay. heart disease we know is a life-threatening condition. Mm -hmm. It can kill people. It right. is the leading cause of death for everybody. Okay. Women in specific, it is the leading cause of death more so than cancer. One, because with women, our signs and symptoms can be a little different. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's a matter of early recognition, coming in, seeking okay. attention for your symptoms. Okay, and what are um, the women who are most at risk? for heart disease. So the risk factors are similar to what we experience for men and women. So high blood pressure, cholesterol issues, diabetes, having family history of early heart disease, and also things like stress mm -hmm. and early menopause are okay. risk factors. Oh, early menopause. See, now that's one I, I didn't know that was an early factor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I'm kind of at that age right now, so. Well, yeah, anyone who doesn't feel age. right yeah. should absolutely go and okay. get, get it checked out. Okay. So. Let's talk symptoms, because mm -hmm. a lot of times people don't know the symptoms. Are symptoms for women different than symptoms for men? Well, let me start by explaining symptoms in general, because okay. a lot of times I see when people have heart attacks, they don't even know that they're having a heart mm -hmm. attack. So chest tightness, chest discomfort, chest pressure that happens, if it gets worse when you push yourself, gets better when you're relaxed, mm -hmm. those are kind of the signs and symptoms of heart disease. Uh, these, the heart pain can go into your jaw, some people experience this in the middle of their shoulder blades. Some people can have it going into both arms. So those are the okay. typical symptoms. Women can sometimes have heartburn-like symptoms mm -hmm. and nausea okay. as a symptom also. You know, you mentioned that my grandmother who had heart disease and she had a heart attack, but mm -hmm. she was nauseous the day before but had no idea that that Could was a symptom. symptom. Right. right. So I think that's important to know that just the gen general symptoms are different for men and women, that women will experience what you just think is a normal, you know, indigestion, but right. that could be a heart issue. So it is important to kind of take care of your heart and understand that, you know, going to get it checked out. Absolutely. You know, I'm a th I think sometimes women think it's, oh, I'm just overreacting. Right. I think what I tell my patients is, if you are feeling something, mm -hmm. whatever it is, if inside you feel like something is just not yeah. right, I'd rather have you get it checked out yeah. and have it be nothing than sit at home, have a massive heart attack, and not get a second chance. Sure. Okay, so what are some of the takeaways that we can leave people so they can kind of get an idea of some lifestyle changes maybe they can make mm -hmm. to be healthier? Or um, so what I recommend is, mm -hmm. and this is from American Heart mm -hmm. Association, move more, get out okay. there, 150 minutes a week is what we say. You can split that up 30 minutes okay. a day, five days a week, or 75 minutes of rigorous exercise. Okay. But get out there and get active. Okay. Um, eat smart, so be very careful about the choices you make. If you can include more fruits and vegetables, that's much better than opening up a bag of chips or eating processed foods. Right. Um, get, get sleep. If you get at least eight hours of sleep, that's great. If you can't, get as much uninterrupted sleep as you can. And then be well. This is something that we don't even think about for heart health, but we know stress is a risk factor. Okay. So be mindful, be forgiving of yourself, find something within you that you are upset about and just let it go. And then finally, tobacco free. Mm -hmm. Do not smoke right. if you can. I think some that people have trouble with are the sleeping mm -hmm. and then letting something go, like the stress factor. And I right. think that a lot of people have a lot of difficulty with those too. But those are very important factors. We did have them up on the screen. We will have this on our Facebook page and website as well. So please take your heart health seriously because I know there's a lot of times we don't, uh, we don't or we just kind of ignore the mm -hmm. symptoms and hope that they go away. So thank you so much for being here today, Dr. Matthew Cuddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you.